Hello. Today we have to find the total number of factors of n exactly two zeros at the end. So we have know how to find number of zeros, but the here question is only two zero or exactly two zeros. First check our n is in their prime factorization or not? Okay, it's a ten, so it's not a prime factorization. Convert number in a prime factors. It's a two raised to power four into three cube into five four is my prime factorization of given n. And come to the question. We know zeros at the end are nothing but the multiple of ten. Two zeros at the end are nothing but the multiple of hundred. What is the meaning of only two zeros or the exactly two zeros? We can say okay, only two zeros at the end of number signifies that it's a multiple of hundred. It's a multiple of hundred, but not the multiple of thousand. Can we say we are looking for a number which are multiple of hundred, but not the multiple of thousands? So, what would be answer for this question? We use the same concept. We find the multiple of hundred and subtract the values of multiple of thousands. We know total number of factors of n. Total number of factor of n ending with double zeros are nothing but the multiple of hundred. Take it out hundred from this numbers. That is two square into five square. We left out with two square in three cube into five square, and find the chances of occurrence of all the numbers since it's a compulsory. It's a one for this. We have a three chances for this. We have a four chances for this. We have a three chances. So total chances ending with double zero are nothing but thirty six. So can we say thirty six are the factors ending with double zero or multiple of hundred? Now find the multiple of thousands. Total number of factor of n ending with triple zero is nothing but take it out the thousand out of from the number two cube and five cube. We left out with two one, three cube and five one. Again the chances for this is one because it's a compulsory for this it's a two it's a Four, it's a two. So total chances of occurrence of this is sixteen, or there are the sixteen factors which are multiple of thousand or ending with three, three zero minimum. And we are looking for only two zeros means we know total number of factors of n ending with double zero exactly, or only double zeros. Or what? Total number of factor of n ending with double zero. Minus total number of factor of n ending with triple zero. So our answer for this is we have calculated thirty six and this is minus sixteen. So answer is twenty. Answer for this question is twenty. Okay, I think it's fine. We are going for the two zeros at the end, so we find total number of multiple of hundred minus total number of multiple of thousands. This is for the exactly two zeros. You can calculate. By the different method, but this is the one of the conceptual method for this question. So, can we say we can generalize this for this total number of factor of any number n having n zeros exactly at the end? We are looking for the n zeros exactly at the end is equal to total number of factor of n n zeros minus total number of factor of n. N plus one zeros means multiple of this is nothing but what multiple of ten n and this is what multiple of ten n plus one. Okay, this is our multiple of ten n plus one. I hope it's a clear to you. Please, if you have any doubt, you can ping me on Facebook. This is the basic concept of number system. This might come in your examination. Okay, all the best. Thanks.